we are preparing some bonsais for show that one uh, basically it's all cleaning trimming this one this one and I'm choosing all medium sizes this one and Okay. Yeah, that one. And yeah, maybe I also bring the Benjamina. The large ones will stay in this garden. They're too heavy to carry and it will take a lot of uh, manpower to do that. This is a medium size Primna. Uh, microfila and it's a multi trunk this is our intended front but as you can see there is a we need to reposition this okay the taller tree is uh, leaning towards that side okay. like that so this is 360 multi trunk two trunks or sort of a twin trunk Okay, see, Bangilo. We want to reposition this tree maybe to that point, but uh, see, you can't do it. 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 You can't do Okay, so that's what we want. We want to change that at this position. The problem is the leaves are disoriented. So we, our plan is to uh, defoliate this now so that it will be show ready by a month from now. So we are going to a bonsai exhibit at a city near us, the Cagayan de Oro city. Uh, they have a club there and they invited us and that is their first time to have an exhibition okay that's a bigger city than ours that's a two hour, about two hour drive a two hour drive from here so I am preparing some medium sized bone size and this one I am contemplating of uh, uh, including this so even if we cannot include this eventually because this is the youngest uh, we will uh, prepare this so defoliation clean up wiring and repositioning in this spot and hopefully uh, including the whole root ball so that we don't we can still uh, display this okay so works will start okay, this one is uh is locally uh, called here a tugas batu or a tugas growing on rock but the botanical name for this is uh, Vitex Triflora okay. so this is our intended front front because see this this uh, apex is leaning towards the viewer which is here but the problem is this one is too done it's either we wire this up wire this up or we may uh, plant this reorient but there's a tendency that these roots will be uh, disturbed okay. like that maybe it looks better because it will uh, look it will look taller but anyway we are also going to include this or this is a candidate for the uh, show which is a month from now so the 360 okay. it's a vitex triflora medium size and we have already partially worked on this we have cleaned this uh, using old toothbrush just plainly water using water no soap no vinegar just water had it been not clean uh, we just only using water then we will have to to use other uh, resource such as a uh, soap so this one it's just 
water and an old toothbrush okay so we will continue working on this by adding adding lime soul for okay it's not yet this this has been passed once only so we need to thicken it a little bit more so this is a vitex triflora and it's going to the show another candidate for exhibition is this uh, Primna microphylla growing on rock. We have started cleaning this yesterday and it's quite clean now. And we will be adding either moss here or we will represent this with water. So we are going to put white pebbles to dress the soil with white pebbles. So this is quite very old. This is quite old and and that's why it's very nice to show this. It's old, old it has a thin trunk, but that's how uh, plants growing on rock should look like. Should, should look, it should, it should be thin, okay? because it has very little soil. Okay, we may transfer this to another pot, a more uh, shallower pot, or shallower pot, but for now, this is just being prepared and uh, we, we will finalize the plan when it's when the exhibition uh, schedule will be nearing. So this is another one candidate, a Premna microphylla on rock. Here is another uh, Premna microphylla, also a candidate for show. What's good with this uh, bonsai is their sizes and their age. The size is can be carried by one person and they're medium size and they're also very old that's the that's the back this is the front because of this uh, dead wood we have applied uh, lime sulfur already uh, in the past and we have uh, put also one layer now then we still have one month to go so we can put moss this has moss before, but the moss is dried up due to uh, very hot weather. In spite of, uh, okay, uh, in spite of twice a day watering, it's, it's still has dried. So, and we have partially cleaned this up. No. What's what's lacking is the, the underneath. Okay. By the way, I'd like to show you. Okay. The, so I'd like to show you the underneath. Okay. That's that's the twigs. That's how all the twigs are. Okay. Those are the twigs. Okay, you cannot see anything straight there, so this has been done with a clip and grow technique. So this is another candidate for show. So this is the mini forest. Uh, it is also a candidate for show because it is quite that the branches are matured and we don't need to install any more wires we just have to clean this up further this we have started cleaning this already and although the in the soil the the wires are showing up but we will be removing this by just cutting it and then planting the moss okay so if you look at this I'll give you 360 so that you can see for yourself for yourself that the branches and the twigs are indeed quite old so this is an an old uh, group planting but we have just grown a a sacrifice branch here or a, a new branch these are these are the youngest branches but I am not going to remove that and in spite of this uh, very young branches I will still uh, show this but these are all subject to the to the sponsoring club so if there are uh, I don't know how what is their uh, classification or how do they categorize it if there are 
bunches that look like this and they would like to to have more variety then maybe uh, they can choose they will decide which one will go to the show or not but so i am preparing many so that uh, they will have many choice many choices so okay that's the front there are only five trees i have shown this already in the youtube one two three four five so it's a five five tree okay so for aesthetic purposes when you do tree planting oh, or forest planting you have to ha do it in odd numbers okay odd numbers there's an aesthetic explanation for that mm, but that's another story okay odd numbers unless there are too many that you can count it count it so there's an that's the that's the way we do it so add numbers either three five seven nine oh, like that okay so that's the mini forest it's still a from a microfiler okay which is uh, available locally here okay, this is the, this is a tamarind another candidate okay it has some fruits okay and another one there okay. so basically it's, this one is still flower so that's a tamarind I've seen this I've shown this in the YouTube already when how I work on it so the work necessary here is to put some some more uh, some lamp sulfur there okay and then some cleaning and then of course moss this is another uh, candidate a lime berry okay of course we need to clean this including the leaves because the leaves are full full of white spots and these are caused by the water supply here which is a it's a deep fuel source so there's there are plenty of lime so this has not this has no no fruits because it was it's always being trimmed heavily so the 360 so one one good thing for this is that It has a lot of moss already on the rat. So this moss that grow here is it's sort of a can can tolerate sunshine. Okay, so there was a, a big moss type here it was growing but was removed. Okay, and hopefully this could have fill up so that's it. this is a lime berry and still also very old okay. now if they would need uh, something that will be that has to be growing on rock then this can be some this can be a choice